Hi guys, this is Brian from brightech.co.uk. Got another quick video here for you on how to fix or resolve the missing CD or DVD icon out of my computer and out of the Explorer browser. So basically, this icon will be missing from inside your my computer, and also if you right click on the start and explore, you will see the CD icon here missing, so you can't use your drive. Now I think it's quite common because I've seen it quite a bit over the years and I'm going to show you a way to fix it, it's pretty simple so you need to go start, run, reg edit, local machine, system, come control set, control, class and then look down till you get to 965 which is this part here, you can see it 4D36E965 and it finishes with 318 like all these do. Okay, look along the side right hand panel and you will see upper filters which is there, you need to delete that and you need to look at for the lower filters now and you need to delete that one as well. Now occasionally you might only have the lower filters but just delete what's there, if lower filters is there delete that, if the upper filters is there delete that, do not delete anything else in there okay, they're the only two you delete now, if you're not comfortable about going into the registry and doing that, then I'm going to put a link up in the actual description there for this file. And it's been created by Doug Knox. And I'm going to right click and edit this and show you what it does. Now, this basically does a bit more than the upper filters and lower filters. It actually deletes these files here as well, which is also a chance for it to fix your problem. And all it will do is it will delete the upper filters and lower filters. And as you can see there, and Doug Knox is a recognised uh, recognized person that fixes computers and he's pretty good. Go over to his site and have a little look and you'll see what I mean. Okay, so I'll leave the link for this and you can run this and it will actually fix your problem. Now, if this doesn't work, which sometimes, occasionally, I have come across it where it doesn't work, you're going to have to go to plan B and shut the PC down, pull the power lead out, open the side case and actually uh, get yourself to where the actual CD cable is. Now, if, obviously if it's a SATA cable, the newer ones on the CD drives, which most of them are now, you basically can take that out and put it into another port and see if that fixes it, because it will force a change. Or you can actually take that out, reboot the machine, and this is going to apply for uh, IDE as well. Take it out, the IDE cable, take out the SATA cable, if you've got a SATA cable one, boot the PC up into safe mode, go to uh, the same place where I told you to go to, or run this script, and that will delete the actual um, files then. Then shut the PC down, put the cables back in, reboot, and you should have your icons back up and working. Okay? Thanks very much for watching and listening to me. This is Brian from brightech.co.uk. Please leave, please leave your comments and please subscribe to my channel. I hope it's been helpful for you. Bye for now.